I'm Shay Russell for mining.com.au and joining me today is Brett Hazelden, the MD and CEO of OD6 Metals. Brett, how are you today? Good, thanks Shay. Now, thank you for joining me because uh, congratulations on your fantastic news of your high grade recoveries from your Splinter Rock project. Can you talk me through these numbers that we're seeing? Yeah, so these are the phase three ones. So we've actually had three good announcements all the way through over the last uh, 12, 18 months on metallurgical recoveries and it just keeps on rolling. So we're averaging off of those 60% metallurgical recoveries, up to 90% on the highest levels, but 60% is really, really good for the rare earth industry, especially around clays. So you look around the world and um, the Brazilians, for example, are getting somewhere between 40 and 68%. Um, we're getting 60%, so we're right in there with some really top end numbers. Yeah, no, it's fantastic news, but I actually want to talk about uh, one of your prospects within this project called Inside Centre. Um, now, we'll come back to that curious name in just a second, but it looks like Inside Centre is shaping up to be uh, quite a standout of this project overall. Yep, so Inside Centre has been one that's uh, on the slow boil, but it's actually come through really, really well. So we've identified over last year's drilling and uh, this year's obviously metallurgy results. Uh, we've got a high grade area of between two kilometres in length by one kilometre in width. Uh, that area has grades of between 1,400 and 2,200 parts per million, uh, and it's also getting those 60% recoveries as well. And importantly, we've got thicknesses of between 20 and 77 metres in thickness, so really good, consistent. The recoveries were consistent all the way through that depth. Uh, it's got a low stripping ratio, low acid consumptions, and it really is a standout for the company. Uh, we'll be looking at uh, making that one of our sort of starting areas to start with and uh, continue to... Um, uh, grow up bigger and better, hopefully. And before we get to the next step of today's interview, uh, where did the name Inside Centre come from? Because when you first mentioned it to me, I actually thought you misspoke. <laughs> so it's a rugby union position. So I used to play rugby once upon a time. There's lots of uh, guys over east, uh, especially in the equity markets, that used to play rugby as well. So uh, it's a good talking point uh, and uh, Inside Centre's not a bad spot. I was actually a flanker, but um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, tell me, do you have a prospect called Flanker? We do have a prospect fellow planker as well, so that's uh, not a bad one itself. And we've got a prop as well. Well, I'm very looking forward to updates on those, but let's stick to what's happening in Inside uh, Centre at Splinter Rock. Say that three times fast. Now, obviously, these are some fantastic results for Splinter Rock, but what can we expect to see next? Yeah, so coming up next, all these results will be getting put into our mineral resource update. We've already got Australia's largest and highest grade clay-hosted rare earth um, project, so we're going to actually increase that bigger again, so, and uh, we're also in expecting the inside centre to hopefully make it into an indicated resource going forward. So uh, that looks on the face of it to be higher grade and uh, quite a sizable resource. And then that will actually then feed into our scoping study that we're planning for the end of the year. Oh, well, I'm looking forward to that, but I just realised I actually didn't uh, put you through your paces and ask you about what kind of rare earths you're looking for. I'd really love to hear the names of them. <laughs> so I won't go through all the names, but there's 15 different uh, names and they've all got wow. is and other things on the end. So there's lots of them there, but uh, the market focuses on NDPR generally, plus dysprosium and turbium. They're called the magnetic rare earths. They're going into your wind turbines and your electric vehicles, into your air conditioners. Uh, that's where you make the money off. So out of those four elements, out of the 15, you'll make 90% of your profit out of that. Uh, listen, once again, this does sound like a very exciting project. I'm thrilled to hear about it, and I can't wait to see what comes out of Inside Centre next. Thanks for being here, Brett. Thanks for having the show.